March 11, 2011 was a devastating day for Japanese community. More than 20,000 people were died or still missing, and subsequent nuclear accidents disrupted the peaceful lives of hundreds of thousands of people, and still there is ongoing nuclear crisis in Japan because radioactivity is still released into the environment, into the air, into the water system, into the produce. And people are still living in a dangerously high level contaminated areas because the Japanese government still designated evacuation zone based on the 20 mil sievelts per year standard, which is 20 times larger standard than pre-catastrophe standard. Today, uh, we have uh, Professor Goto, who is the Vice President of Human Rights Now. She's the um, project leader of uh, um, disaster relief team, which was established soon after the March 11th. Human Rights Now focused on the human rights situation in Asia region, and we didn't necessarily focus on the domestic issues until March 11th. But because of the uh, grave situation after March 11th, we decided to set up a special team to investigate what's going on in Fukushima and other affected areas by tsunami and earthquake. And we sent people and our members to um, Iwate, uh, Miyagi and Fukushima and also we visit temporary housings where still some people are still living in temporary housing um, because they are not able to go back to their home because of the high level radiation after nuclear accident. So uh, we, we first speaker is uh, Professor Goto. Um, she will be talking about the latest updates on national policy regarding the evacuation, decontamination, and other issues. And also she will share some of the new data that came out recently, which affects the rights, um, health um, of women and children in uh, affected areas. 